types of stress in the previous video we have learned that stress is a biological response to a perceived threat it is caused by chemicals and hormones surging throughout your body it can help you respond to a particular problem before going to the details please remember to subscribe this channel if you are new here do watch other videos in this channel share it with students and those who love learning psychology thank you let's see how the stress works if your brain detects a threat to your safety your body responds with an instant burst of stress hormones as a result you become more alert your body wide changes will happen so as stress is detected by your brain then stress hormones are released and there will be body wide changes your eyes open wider your heart beat and breathing speed up your heart pumps more oxygen to muscles for extra strength and speed your body's stress response is there to protect you it helps you react quickly fight hard or run fast if you need to that is why stress is also called the fight or flight response when you handle the situation you start to feel relief from your stress your stress hormone ease up the butterfly feelings fade and your heart beat slow down to its normal pace your whole body starts to go back to its normal non stressed state the main types of stress are acute stress episodic acute stress chronic stress and traumatic stress the acute stress is usually brief chronic stress is prolonged and episodic acute stress is short term but frequent and the traumatic stress it result from experiencing or witnessing a traumatic event positive stress known as u stress it can be fun and exciting but it can also take a toll let's see each of these in detail acute stress it happens to everyone it is the body's immediate reaction to a new and challenging situation that is acute stress is the body's response to a short term demand of change this type of stress can last anywhere from minutes hours days and even weeks the duration depends on how long you are exposed to an intense situation acute stress occur when we need to fight off danger such as when you narrowly escape a car accident it can be caused by events like public speaking deadlines or unexpected situations acute stress can also come out of something that you actually enjoy it's the somewhat frightening yet thrilling feeling you get on a roller coaster or when skiing down a steep mountain slope these incidents of acute stress don't normally do any harm to you they might even be good for you the stressful situations give your body and brain practice in developing the best response to future stressful situations once the danger passes your body systems should return to normal the symptoms of acute stress include physical symptoms are tightened muscles or muscle tension chest pain or discomfort trembling and shakiness increased heart rate or heart palpitations then sweating more than normal and rapid breath 
the emotional symptoms include anxiousness fearfulness feeling overwhelmed or helpless then overwhelming feelings of panic irritability restlessness and difficulty concentrating episodic acute stress some individuals experience acute stress on a frequent basis leading to pattern known as episodic acute stress people with this type of stress often find themselves in a constant state of chaos worrying excessively and struggling with time management this might happen if you are often anxious and worried about things you suspect may happen you might feel that your life is chaotic and you seemingly go from one crisis to the next certain professions like a law enforcement or firefighters they might also lead to frequent high stress situations it can lead to health problems and strained relationship for example a person who frequently takes on too many commitments and constantly feels overwhelmed they may regularly experience acute stress due to a pattern of juggling multiple responsibilities meeting deadlines and struggling to manage their time effectively symptoms of episodic acute stress include muscle tension in the back shoulders and neck rapid heartbeat then thirst or dry mouth the symptom of episodic acute stress typically resolve themselves within about 30 minutes however symptoms are likely to return if you do not find a way to manage your emotional response next is chronic stress when you have high stress level for an extended period of time you have chronic stress it is a long term stress that persist over an extended period it often result from ongoing issue such as financial problem work related stress relationship difficulties or health problems chronic stress can have detrimental effect on both physical and mental well being if it is left and managed for example a person facing ongoing financial difficulty such as struggling to pay bills or being burdened with significant debt the constant worry and strain of managing finance can lead to chronic stress impacting their overall well-being the symptoms include muscle tension in the back neck and shoulders then rapid ha- heartbeat difficulty sleeping chronic stress can lead to serious health problem if left untreated it may include diabetes high blood pressure digestive problems such as irritable bowel syndrome and heart disease the next is traumatic stress it result from experiencing or witnessing a traumatic event it is often associated with PTSD that is post traumatic stress disorder it can occur after events such as accidents natural disaster combat or personal assault traumatic stress can have long lasting effect on a person's mental and emotional well being for example witnessing a car accident or being involved in one car accident it can result in traumatic stress the individual may experience recurring memories or nightmares avoidance of driving or avoiding vehicles and heightened anxiety related to the traumatic event when your brain processes what has happened to you it goes through three stages first one occurs right after the traumatic event usually within 2 days of it occurring and it is called hyperarousal 
The second stage occurs when you experience repeated memories and nightmares about what happened to you or if people in your environment trigger reminders of that trauma. And in the third stage occurs when you isolate yourself from others and avoid things that trigger your memories. Now let's see the symptoms of the traumatic stress. Flashback and nightmare about what happened to you. Being easily startled or frightened even when there is no threat around you. Feeling as though the world feels unsafe. Constantly on guard for danger. Then you might also experience social withdrawal and isolation from family and friends. And it can lead to depression. There may be difficulty sleeping due to recurring nightmares or intrusive thoughts which can lead to you feeling tired and irritable. You may have hard time concentrating, making decisions or remembering things. Your body might feel tense as the result of becoming easily startled by loud noises. You may also experience feeling of guilt about what happened or whether it could have been prevented. You might also feel like you are always in danger even when, even when there is no current threat. You may constantly be on guard for another attack. Now let's have a quick recap on what we have learned. We have learned how the stress happens and different types of stress like the acute stress, the episodic acute stress, the chronic stress and the traumatic stress. In the upcoming video, we will learn about sources of the stress. Hope you like this video. Please share and subscribe. Thank you and keep smiling.